Hello, everybody. Welcome to Attorney Audits Agitators. I'm your host, Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. Today, we are going to look at a grim and tragic story. Uh, the title is Man Charged in Hartford Homicide Used Samurai Sword to Decapitate His Landlord. Now, the reason it's on my show is because this guy who allegedly committed this horrifying murder is also a sovereign citizen and also I happen to be a landlord. Sovereign citizen attacks a landlord. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I also have an interest in samurai swords. I must say I lived in Japan, the land of the rising sun, for about two and a half years. Check out my shirt. But I, I don't want to make light of this story. It's a very sad, uh, very grim story. But I did feel compelled to cover it on my show as we cover sovereign citizens. So before we dig in, you all know the drill. drill blah. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together the same time sip. Cheers. Delicious Coke. I'm changing it up for a change for a change. Getting that real sugar. Also, remember everyone, I wrote a book on sovereign citizens. The book on sovereign citizens. Yeah, I wrote it. You can check it out. Link to it in the description below. You can buy it on Amazon $9.99. Let's take a look at this uh rather distressing um article. Okay. <coughs> Warrant, man charged in Hartford homicide, used samurai sword to decapitate his landlord. There's an image there of the accused. Jerry Thompson is charged with murder and the slashing death of Victor King, a retired traveler's employee and champion bridge player. The man charged with using a samurai sword to decapitate his landlord inside an Asylum Avenue home this weekend refused to talk to police about the crime, claiming he is a sovereign citizen. That's what they do, right, folks? They don't talk. At his arraignment Tuesday in Superior Court in Hartford, Jerry David Thompson refused to say anything and was ordered held in lieu of $2 million bail. That's a lot of bond. He's likely not going anywhere. Thompson also refused to speak with a public defender and at this point is not represented by an attorney. Well, because we all know sovereign citizens believe attorneys are dedicated to the crown and the king of England, King George. Judge Ann Lynch continued Thompson's case to August 18th. According to the warrant for Thompson's arrest, drafted by Hartford detectives, he was identified as a suspect by friends of Victor King, who had rented a room to Thompson inside his Asylum Avenue home. The two men had had a dispute about Thompson not paying rent, according to the warrant, and Thompson threatened King with a samurai sword. He threatened him before he did this. King was so alarmed by Thompson's threats, he went to Hartford police on Saturday, the day before he was killed, and told them Thompson had been waving the sword at him. Oh, this is a very sad story. On Sunday, friends of King called police to say they could not reach him. Sunday afternoon, police and firefighters forced their way into King's home and found a lot of blood in King's badly slashed body covered in bedding. Very sad. There's Mr. King right there, photo of him. Police began looking for Thompson to question him about the killing and found him and pulled him over in the North End. Back at police headquarters, detectives tried to talk to Thompson, but he would not say anything. At one point, he wrote on a piece of paper, paper and glove compart in Jeep is all you need. In the glove compartment of the Jeep, police found paperwork suggesting Thompson viewed himself as a sovereign citizen, people who don't view themselves as subject to the law. He has previous convictions for assault and robbery. King was a retiree from Travelers and an accomplished bridge player. I must say, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, this is a very sad story. Uh, this illustrates just how dangerous the sovereign citizen ideology is. It is dangerous. It's not just a game, okay? These people think that they can do whatever they want, that the law doesn't apply to them. And once you believe that the law doesn't apply to you, it gives you personally, your own personal psychology, okay, a license to do whatever the heck you want. 
And it can result in some very, very sad and disturbing and tragic endings for this poor man who was killed by a, 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 a samurai sword in this day and age. Uh, he made a complaint to the police and the police didn't follow through. You know, it can be very difficult for the police to do things just based on threats. Regardless, um, regardless, something should have been done. I hope something was done. Uh, samurai swords are no joke, everyone. Um, if they are, uh, if they're real and they are sharp, they are deadly. They are deadly. They are um, especially sharpened steel blades. Uh, it, some say they were the most advanced type of sword ever created in the history of the world. The most advanced sword in the history of the world. Um, and to top it off, I mean, this man was his landlord. I'm a, I, I'm a landlord. I'm a landlord. It, it very, just a tragic story. Whew. Wow. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, I bet that played a role because tenants are hurting, landlords are hurting, and there is bound to be conflict between tenants and landlords, you know, because the tenants can't come up with the money and the landlords need the money to make the rent and nobody's getting money. And it's a bad situation for everyone. I just, this story was wild. This highlights all the points that I've made about sovereign citizens, all the points I make about sovereign citizens in my book about how dangerous they can be. I should add this to the chapter that talks about the dangers sovereign citizens pose. So thank you for tuning into my channel. This is Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. The link for the article is down here. A link to my book is below. Sorry I haven't been making as many videos lately, everyone. I've just been so busy with my law practice. I can barely find have the time and energy. I mean, I get done at my office and I'm just exhausted. But I'm back. I'm going to make videos. I love you all. Stick with me. I hope uh, you learned something on this video. Not to say that you could enjoy this video because it's just so tragic. Uh, may this poor gentleman rest in peace. Give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. Peace.